Hey everyone, welcome back for another quick video for a Newberry Comics grab bag. Uh, this is the blind bags they sell. I have another independent publisher one. Um, they only go for $5.99. You get 10 different comics. Um, some of them will be from the same series, but usually, you know, for an average of 60 cents a piece, you get some pretty good titles. They'll all be modern. Um, they'll all be in de decent shape. They're not necessarily reader copies, but they will have some a few nicks here and there just from being handled and being on the shelves. These are usually ones that they need to make room for so they get rid of um, older stuff or stuff that's been sitting around for quite a bit and throw them these grab bags. Um, so let's see what we have. So the two um, on the front and the back, and I thought they were decent, so I said, you know what, let's give this one a shot. So we will start with, let's start with Bloodstained Teeth. All right, so Bloodstained Teeth is a fairly popular image title. This is issue number two. I have not read it yet, but being that this is issue two, I'll probably jump in. Um, you can see there are some nicks right there. So this isn't one I would sell or anything. I would just kind of read it, add it into the collection. There you go, Bloodstained Teeth, number two. And we have another image title, Beware the Eye of Odin, issue four. Again, these haven't even been opened. So some of them are in great shape. This is one you can see there's no type of nicks or ticks, whatever you call them. Um, yeah, this one's in great shape. All right, Berserker, here we go. This looks like a, yep, this is one of those foil copies, uh, covers, excuse me. This is issue nine. So every now and then you can get something decent in here and recognizable. Um, Boom Studios, popular title, as everyone knows, Keanu Reeves. And this is in, this is in pretty good shape too. So happy to see this. Take a look. All right. Then we have another one from Boom Buffy ninety seven, which is a uh, another series for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I have not read this yet. Um, this is a cardstock cover in great shape. Issue one. Always appreciate those. We can jump into a series pretty easily. Oh, nice. Then we have Black Hammer Reborn. Uh, I'm a big fan of Black Hammer, so anytime I see these titles come across that I don't have, I'm pretty happy to stash them away. Um, all right, issue 10. Great. I'll turn these around. All right, British Paranormal Society. Well, anything in the horror genre, sign me up, so... Happy to see this one was visible. So issue number two, we'll jump into this series. And we have Blade Runner Black Lotus, issue two. It's in pretty good shape. Sorry about the glare. Another Bloodstained Teeth, issue two getting into this series soon. And some of these could be variant covers. I'm just not sure of them. Um, I can't, no, I don't think this one is. Uh, actually, I think this one is. From the barcode. And we have Bloodstained Teeth number four. So we do have a, oh, wow. We have an actual run of Bloodstained Teeth. So happy to see that. Issue four. That looks like the A cover. And then number one. And that looks like a the C cover. And usually how you can tell, so you know, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but in the barcode, it's usually issue number, cover number, and then printing. So this is issue one, cover C, First printing. So let's just put these up quickly because I'm <laughs> thought it was interesting. They put a run of Bloodstained Teeth in here. 
Yeah, see here, this is too bad they didn't put issue three, but we have two covers for number two, we have a number one, and we have four. So, um, all right, so that's it. If any of you have read any of these or are into any of these series, please comment below. Would love to hear about it. And please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.